Hi, this is Zata. This is my week at the Bermuda Plain Air Festival 2019. Coco Reef hosted the reception. We then painted at Ailey's Harbor, Fort Scar, and Willow Bank Hotel. I did a painting from Fort Scar. Here are other painters painting at Fort Scar. There was a good view of Ailey's Harbor there, and some painters chose to paint right at the bottom of Fort Scar, right on Ailey's Harbor. But these were up on top at the fort. I did a second painting in the afternoon at Willow Bank. I did a painting of a beach with a sandy bottom facing St. James's Church. But there were also other artists painting down at Willow Bank, and you can see what they were doing. I then found this unusual bell in the shade, and I did a watercolor while I awaited the tea. Tea was at the Bermuda Art Center at Duckyard, and we had a good time there. Sandy Munt in Bayless Bay, just down the road from where I live, was the next painting location, and that's what I did, a gate in Bayless Bay. Sandy Munt is like a fort overlooking the bay, and some people painted up by the house, and others painted down by the bay next to the railway bridge. I did a watercolor in Hamilton for night painting. One person joined me, but others were on Old Boys Point and along Front Street and other places. I'm on Front Street and it's getting quiet, but there's still at least one artist painting, and I wonder if they're painting in red. Can you guess who that is? You can hear their laugh. Yeah, that's who it is. <laughs> Night painting was interesting. And then we went to St. George's, my hometown, where I did a painting at Summer's Wharf. And then I saw others around the town and other locations. St. George's is known for its narrow streets and alleys. And you can see where everyone was. I found a nice view of St. Teresa's Cathedral on Park Road, yards from Victoria Park. I decided to work in watercolor this day because it was such a gray day. I then found a hurricane damaged palmetto in front of an old house on Lafan Street. So that was my second work of the day. I found other people working mainly in Victoria Park and others were about the town and other locations. That night we had a dinner at the Royal Bermuda Yacht Club and it was a nice meal and we had nice conversation. There were drinks at the bar next to the dock and then we went into a large dining room where everyone enjoyed their meals. I think the Warwick South Shore beaches were the biggest adventure I sat above a cliff overlooking some beaches. There were other brave souls as well. And here is someone on the beach. Cambridge Beaches was our last location and I painted on the Mangrove Bay side. I did Teddy Tucker's house and then others were working on the beach. I had to leave early but others gathered at the Breezes Beach restaurant and bar and I did a tour of the property because I hadn't been up there before. I only knew about the moon gate but not other, other property. We moved early to get work hung for the final exhibition and there was someone to receive the work. Here we can see other artists bringing in the work. Someone even had a fancy bit of transport. And now we're at the final show. So I was on the art scene for another exhibition. And here you can see different artists having their pictures taken next to their work. And you can see some of the socializing going on. Here you can see who the sponsors were. And you also will get a look at some of the big prizes. There was good attendance, and you can see the crowd here.
a nice clean water little water filter. Poppy Bonser won Best in Show. She also won Best Watercolor. Ellie Cedrone won Best Oil Painting. Conway won Best Acrylic. Vivian Gardner won Best Pestel. The Quick Art was won by Jill Amos Green. Thanks to the organizers, the artists, the people that came to the exhibition, and thank you for watching. Bye!